Hey, how's it going? Just going to show you how to play Marrow by St. Vincent today. Uh, just a reminder, you can now support me on Patreon. There's a link below. And if you'd like and subscribe, that'd be great. Anyway, with that out of the way, I'll show you how to play this song. So, uh, in terms of tuning, we're going to tune to drop D, um, which is just standard tuning, but you drop your low, your sixth string, down to a D. And then we're going to put a capo on the first fret. Um, in terms of tone, she's got some fuzz and an octave up pedal in this track and that's about all you need to know um, in terms of that stuff in terms of form of the song there we've got four riffs and then there's the solo so um, it's pretty much guitar just in choruses and the solo so I'll play you each riff and then talk through and show you how to play them cool so the first riff that you hear in the chorus is this <laughs> Alright, so starting on, uh, everything's relative to the capo by the way, so what is uh, traditionally yeah 8th fret with the 7th fret. So 7th fret from the capo, then on the 6th fret, on the 6th string that is, then 5th fret on the 5th string, then we move down 3 frets and we go 4th on the 6th string and 2nd on the 5th. Then on the 6th string, we go 6th fret and then 2nd fret. So the first few notes. Then we hit this 7th uh, fret on the 5th string. And then we do, which is on the 2nd string, 7 sliding up to 9 then 6th fret on the 6th string and then finish on 2nd fret so that's the first riff that you hear in the chorus so then right at the end of the chorus you hear this riff played So we're starting on the fifth string. Go seven, five, four. This is from the capo again. And then sixth uh, fret on the fourth string. Then fourth fret on the fifth again. Then on the sixth string, we go nine, seven. Fourth fret on the fifth string. And we go seven, seven, six, seven, nine on the sixth string. So again, through slowly. And that's riff number two. Then for riff number three, it's first heard in the second chorus, and it's this. So starting on the sixth string, we go six, seven, nine. Then fifth fret from the capo on the fifth string. Then nine, seven on the sixth string again. Then we go four, six on the sixth string still. And then second fret on the sixth string. So the first bit of this. And we go four, six, open, two on the sixth string for the. So fourth, sixth, open, second fret. And that's, that's riff number three. So I'll just play it through slowly from the top. Uh, 
Um, then we've just got the fourth riff to learn, which also comes in uh, first heard in the second chorus, and it's it's pretty much what we the second riff that we learned, but just up an octave with a slightly different tail on it, and this one. So, starting on the on the third string, uh, again from the capo, ninth fret, nine seven six, and ninth fret on the second string, then seventh fret on the third string, nine seven on the fourth string, six on the third string. So so far we've got. Then we go on the fourth string, seven, six, seven, nine. So the first bit of this riff. Um, and then the last, the little tail on it. In the seventh fret, we go fourth string, then second string, then third string, all in the seventh fret. And then on the third fret, sorry, third string, six, and then nine, seven on the fourth string. And then repeat that. And that's that's all of the um, the main guitar riffs. So then um, we've just got the solo to learn, and it's pretty crazy. There's uh, quite a bit going on. There's sort of a, re a reverse guitar, and there's a couple of guitar parts that make it sound pretty messy and hectic. Um, but a rough approximation of the solo um, is this. <laughs> So it sort of sits on this main bit. Keeps coming back to this. So on the third string, uh, ninth fret. Just going to bend it up and back. Then on the fourth string, seventh fret. Back to ninth fret on the third. Then down to fifth fret on the fourth string. So that's going to be our main thing that we play four times. And the first time, uh, the sort of tail end is just, which is just seven, hammer onto nine and pull off back to seven on the third string. Then the second time round, um, after you do that, the fourth bend, it just slides up to 14th fret on the fourth string. Um, so that's that one. Second time around, it does this little, this little trill. So you have uh, tenth, sorry, ninth fret on the second string, and twelfth on the, still on the second string, and you just do a little hammer on pull off. Then the fourth time around, um, it's the same as the second, we just have a bit of a crazier bend at the end. Yes, so you hit that 14th fret from the capo and just give it a good, good old crazy bend. And that's all the guitar parts for this song. Um, thanks for watching. Um, again, you can uh, support me on Patreon, which is linked below. Uh, you can like and subscribe. That'd be amazing. And if you've got any questions or comments, just drop them below in the comments section and I'll try to get to them. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.